Hi, Dress Your Cuties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Charizard from Pokemon. So let's get started. To draw awesome Charizard, let's first start by drawing his eyes. So I'm going to come right here and we're going to draw a slant coming down. So let's come about right here and I'm just going to draw a slight angle line down. And then I'm going to come up, kind of creating this triangular shape. So I'm going to come up and then about right here, bring it down to finish it off. Then let's come back into this space right here and just add a soft curve. And hopefully you can see this. I'm just going to add a little highlight and then shade everything else in. Since it's so small, just go ahead and just color it in all black there. And then you can extend this line out a tiny bit if you like. Then from there, I'm going to go above this line. So I'm just going to follow this curve that I made on top about right here and go above it, right over it, and then create this little hump and out. Then we're going to go and continue this angle right about here. We're going to start to draw this snout area. So we're just kind of continuing this angle. And then about right here, I'm going to go ahead and come down. And we're going to go up. We go out, I mean, and then about right there, bring it in and around there. It's a little bit complicated right here, but just imagine this is the snout area that you're drawing. And then you can come back into this space about right here. And we're just going to put in this little nostril area. Just fill it in there. Then I'm going to come around. So about right here, I'm going to come around and go underneath the eye. So about right here, we're going to give a little lip area and then come around about right there. And we're bringing a curve down. So right underneath the eye, we're going to go down and about right here, just curve it down. So it's all underneath the eye. And then come back into this space at this curve and put in a tooth. There. It's all coming together, right? <laughs> Hopefully. Then from there, we're going to come back into this space right underneath this lip. And we're just going to draw a curve to fill out the bottom part. And about right here, we're going to angle it in and bring it in. So let's go ahead and bring that in. So just creating this shape right here. And about right here, kind of like this eye area, about right here, we're going to bring it down. We're going to start the neck. Then from there, let's come back into this area about right here where this mouth is. Let's say about right here. We're just going to go ahead and come down. So we're just creating this neck. And then whatever space you have left, you can come in here and draw this part that extends out. We're going to bring it down. And just go ahead and round it off there. And then I think there's a little part right here. We're going to see the other one. So the other side. So I'm just going to go ahead, if you like, and put in another little bump right there. There. Okay. So then now the hardest part is done, I think. <laughs> then from there, let's go ahead and we're going to draw the neck. So hopefully I helped you with that. Just play around with it. Hopefully you're using a pencil and you can make adjustments as you go. So let's go ahead and we're going to bring this down for a really long neck, strong, long neck. And so about right, I'm going to bring it out and bring this down. So now that we're about the same level, we're going to start the shoulders. So come out about right here. I'm going to go out and down. And so same thing here, out and down, creating the shoulders. Then I'm going to just kind of imagine, let's see here. Uh, okay, let's just bring this out first for the arms. And we're going to come back into this space right about here. One nice thick arms. Well, actually not. They're not very thick. They're actually just kind of scrawny compared to the rest of his body. But about here is where the armpit area would be. 
and we're going to continue imagine continuing this this neck is going to come out and we're going to start to draw the body so on this side so this is kind of like where the armpit area is we can drag this point across and about right here let's just go ahead and start a curve just like the other side and then from there we can come back just like this side about right here bring this up and this is going to come out and then be where the arms are going to start From there, let's go ahead and let's just finish the bottom. So let's bring this down a little bit more. And here. It's about the same level on both sides. Let's work on this side first. So just imagine there's going to be this big tummy area and then two legs are going to be sticking out of it. So that is our goal. So let's come about right here. Now that we have that, I'm just kind of imagining this big body. So about right here, I'm going to pop one big thigh out and come about right here and pop this out so we have two curves right there and bring this down and bring this in and then we can go ahead and finish the foot part so we're just bringing this down about right there and bring this in there okay so then from there um, let's go back sorry I'm just going back and forth because I want to figure out how big to make the tummy area right so now that we have that let's see here we want to bring like I said this big curve so now that we have that leg in let's bring this in bring in this big tummy area to about right here there so I have this big tummy area make this a little bit rounder okay there and then from there we can go ahead and we're going to just come about right here just gonna draw a curve And just taper this down. There. And then now we can draw the other leg. It's going to start about right here. It's going to come out. And the bottom part about right here, nice and thick, just like the other side. Bring down a knee part. We're going to bend this down. bending it down to two parts right here so then let's go ahead and pop out the foot so about right here and right here so this part is yeah about right there same level and then we can go ahead and put in the toenail so we're going to come one curve two curve and then just bring this in there and then we can pop in oops one two and one more there and for some details before I forget like in the knee area well let's bring this I think I need to bend this down a little bit more sorry and then I can pop in the knee so let me go in there so like I said, hopefully you're using an eraser at home because, I mean a pencil, because this is a pretty complicated drawing. So hopefully and make any adjustments you need. There. Okay, so then from there, let's go ahead and in this area where it bends, we're just going to come right here with two curves just to give it some 
detail in here as well. So let's come back to here now that we're about the same area. We're going to come in and draw one, two, and three. And then we're going to finish off the nails. Just bring it to a point, just like the other side. There. And once again, in this area, about right here, just two curves for some detail. There, okay, so finally done. So then we can go ahead and go back to the arms. So we have these tiny little arms compared to the legs. We're gonna come right about here and we're gonna bring this out. About here. And then come down, we're gonna bend it down. There, and then the hands. So we're gonna come out out and then we're going to draw three of these one go around two and three and then some of these nails two and one more there okay so same thing over here so once again, we're going to bend it down just like the other side to go right here. And once again, one, two, and three, and the nails. So I'm trying to simplify it as much as I can. <laughs> without making it, I'm trying to not make it as complicated. So hopefully I'm helping you. And you can come right here with a little curve. Just trying to follow the details on the original. And let's see here. Okay, so we're pretty much done with the body part. Now we have this tail, awesome tail we need to draw. So I'm going to come about right here. And I'm going to curve it out. Bring it down, and we're gonna thicken it up, and bring it in. Just creating this curve right here, and I'm just gonna thicken this up, and then about right here, another curve, and a curve. And we're gonna continue this, imagine this is coming through, right there. And then we're going to have the other part of the tail. So it's going to pop out right here and come out. So come out right here. There. And I'm just going to draw another line right here and here. So it's as if it's folding over. So that's the, that's why we're drawing this shape right here. Round this off a little bit more. Okay, there. And then we can go ahead and draw a flame right here uh, in this area. So we're gonna come out and, well, actually, you know what? Let's draw the wings first before we draw the flame so I know how much space I have left. So very important wings. <laughs> Let's come back out right here. And we're gonna come right in the shoulder area, come out. And I'm gonna go across and let's go up. So let's start these wings, go up. Now we're gonna go one more layer. And then right here, we're gonna put in a little notch, just like this part, right? And then we're gonna come out. So like bat wings basically and then we're gonna bring this down and let's keep going they're huge wings so we're bringing it down to kind of like where the hand the level of the hands there 
and we're going to thicken everything up. So let's come back and we're just going to follow all the angles that you drew and come around all the way there and then let's come back in and we're going to draw two curves one and two just to end it and if you like for some details you can come back in here right in this area the center and one line and then another line there okay then the other side oh and then before i forget it extends out right here so i just put in that curve right there so same thing over here let's go for it let's go up just like the other side we're going to come down and then we're going to go across and i'm just going to try my best to make it about the same size as the other one so about right here once again we're going to put in that little notch then we're going to come down one two and once again we're aiming towards kind of like where the hands are so about right here and let's go ahead and thicken everything up once again there and then we're going to go up angle down out and back in right here and then for some details once again just right in the center area we draw a little line and another there okay and let's see if I'm missing anything here. That is curve and maybe another little detail there. But I think that is pretty much it. Oh, it's a flame. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I have this about amount of space. So I'm just gonna come up here. Oh my goodness. And just wiggle this flame shape right here forgot the most important part and then when you're coloring it bring it alive uh, but that is pretty much it should I put a heart on Charizard he's too cool for a heart right but if you <laughs> I thought maybe he's too cool so but I'm gonna add a heart right here we're gonna just tuck that in to make it my draw so cute Charizard from Pokemon. I know it's a little bit complicated. Well, it's actually, it's very complicated, but I really hope I helped you today to draw Charizard fun and easy. And if I did, please make sure to give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new draw so cute videos. See you later.